Meanwhile, the, the Twittering is working. Um, w e n o t n o, and I've I've retweeted a tweet from myself. I am Will Seven Eight Nine G B, and earlier today I saw a blog post from Neil Mosley, who was I know in Exeter last week, part of the T H E Digital University Conference, and he's he's done a blog post and a tweet. Um, about the THE rankings. Late, later this year, there is going to be a, a THE sort of league table chart of um, online universities, and he didn't. He didn't actually say so, but I imagine there was conversation about this during the conference about digital. And he's it, it, I'm, John. So if it's all right, I'm just going to rave on about this because. Um, yeah. It, it, it's not often we get an event in Exeter with the global uh, ramifications, but I think this I think this might be depending on on how how it goes, because I, th I think all the all the universities on the planet are allowed to enter this. I don't think it's just a UK thing, but that's one of the things I'd like like clarified. If, if somebody could clarify it, um, the other thing is what 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 is meant by digital? What is meant by online? Because the the conference was a was titled digital and my impression so far is that Exeter is is seeing it as digital that's the word they use but does that mean they're not so interested in the online part it it it's, it seems to be mostly about using digital on the campus in a way that doesn't alter the um, campus nature of it uh, they're not going to concentrate mostly on online courses, I don't think. Uh, so what is this new league table? The, the other thing, Neil, Neil Mosley says that not, not every university that you think would be part of it is going to be part of it. There's quite a few, though he doesn't name them, who are thinking of not submitting their data to it which I, I, don't, I don't know, I mean, presumably there's, there's a few months before we know who they are, and I'd assume Exeter's one of the ones that's going to enter into it. Um, but the, the other thing is that um, business schools are not included, any, uh, or MBAs are not included, um, because apparently the students of MBAs always say that it was a wonderful course <laughs> and it's a wonderful business school, uh, I don't know. Do, I think probably most people who go to a university suggest their university is jolly good. Yes. Well, every um, people, uh, well, the universities especially want to, want to, want to um, promote their university and courses. So every university is going to say they're good to current um, to, to potential. Um, students, I suppose. Um, yeah, I don't nobody's going to nobody's going to come and say, "Oh, but our university is uh, rubbish," are they? You know, uh, no, because well, no. It's, no, it's, it's just it's, it's a sort of network bad, thing, anyway, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Yes, yeah. It's bad appetizing for the university, I suppose. So I don't, I don't really see why the MBAs should should be excluded, and also I think. The, the business aspect is quite relevant because um, it, apparently it's going to be a, an institution level, not a course level, which means this university is a good online university, not this particular course is a good online course. But I think business schools have got something to say about that. There's, there's probably a maturity model somewhere, there's different levels that can be reached. But whether a business school has done that and described an online university, or for that matter, an online business school, um, I don't know. This is the We Don't Know show, but we'd like to know. That is um, our point of view. Um, and on that, I, I, can't, I can't remember exactly where I saw this. That there is, um, if, you, if you check out Neil Mosley, not just the blog, he, he does podcasts as well, and there's one podcast, I can't remember the name at the moment, but I may, I may find it later, later on, um, 
a, a transatlantic one that compare U, USA and UK situations and I think it was during one of those podcasts <laughs> it, was, it was mentioned that um, THE actually owns Poets and Quants now which is a, a USA based business school similar sort of operation so possibly they're going to do a, a, a table for online MBAs which I don't know whether that's true but um, if anybody knows we'd like to, and you, if you can tweet before about half past 11 W-E-N-O-T-N-O -N -O, that would that be interesting we'll, we'll, we'll try and follow this up because may, maybe there's another table with 50% the THE table and then no, let's say 75% the THE table and 25% a Poets and Quants table on uh, MBAs. But that's just speculation. 